Hi, this is Lesson 14, Session 4 of 4th Grade Ready Classroom Mathematics. We are working on dividing three-digit numbers. Students, you should have completed pages 307 to 30, I'm sorry, 310 before you begin watching this video. This video is to check and see if you completed the work correctly. So, if you have not done that yet, please pause this video and go complete those and then come back when you are finished. All right, on page 307, we are starting with a division problem. It says find 641 divided by 3. Use multiplication to check your answer. Show your work. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and start with making a rectangle. And then I'm going to um, put 3 over here on the side. And I'm going to start with um, my number here. My number is 641. So what can I do to get so close to that? Well, I know 3 times 2 is 6. So if I do 3 times 200, then I can get 600. So then I'm going to multiply and subtract 600. That means 1 times or 1 subtract 0 is 1, 4 subtract 0 is 4. All right? Now I'm going to move that 41 up here. 3 times what is as close as I can get without going over? Well, I'm going to do 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So I'm going to subtract 30 from 41, and I have 11 left over. Then I'm going to move the 11 up here. I know that 3 times 3 is 9. That leaves me 2, which is my remainder. Now I add these three together, which is 213, remainder 2. So my answer is 213, remainder 2. Now, if I want to check my answer, I can do 213 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. But then remember how I had this remainder right here? I have to add that to it. So plus 2 makes 641. And is that the number I started with? Yes, it is. That means that my answer is correct. Let's go ahead and move to page 308. All right, on page 308, my first problem is 738 divided by 9. Go ahead and do my area model again. So I'm starting with 738 dividing by 9. Well, 9 can't go into 7, but if I look at 73, I know that 9 times 8 is 72, so I could do 80. 9 times 80 is 720. Then I subtract that. 8 minus 0 is 8. 3 minus 2 is 1. I'm going to bring my 18 up. I easily know that 9 times 2 is 18, and when I subtract, that leaves nothing. So my answer is 82. Again, I can check my answer by doing 82 times 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 8 is 72, plus one more is 73. 738 is what I had. Number three, the prize palace has 252 toys to divide equally among six pinatas. How many toys go in each pinata? Go ahead and make my area model. 252 divided by six. Well, I can't put six into two, but I can put six into 25. I can do four. 4, 6 times 4 is 24, but I need a 0 on there. So 240, I'm going to subtract that. 2 minus 0 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1. I'm going to bring that 12 up here. 
and I easily know that 6 times 2 is 12, which leaves me nothing and gives me an answer of 42. So it's C. Erin chose D as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? Well, it looks like Erin included her remainder. Because see, there's no remainder. Erin included her remainder of zero as the last digit in her answer. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to page 309. It says, select all the true division equations. Remember that with division, our biggest number needs to be the number that's being divided. And then we have to, our answer has to be um, the other, the smaller number times the answer. So I can multiply to check this or I can divide. I'm going to multiply. So my first one is 31 times 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Well, that doesn't match. Okay, 493 divided by 7. 73 times 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 2, 50, 51. That does not match. Now, 4 times 8 is 32. That's not going to work. 135 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 more, 16, 17. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 675. And look, that's what I have right here. So D is correct. And now our last one, 53 times 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 more is 31. 318, and that's what I have over here. So E is correct. Select all of the expressions that have a value of 25. There's two different ways that you can do this one. You can either do this one by multiplying each of the last numbers by 25, or you can go ahead and do the division problem. I think it's easier and quicker to do the multiplication, so I'm going to multiply each of these times 25. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the answer should be 200, but it's 225, so that's not right. 25 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14, 15, 16, 17. 175, this says 180, that's not right. 25 times 6, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 150, that's what it says, so C is correct. 25 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 more is 12, that is not correct. And 25 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 more is 100. So E is correct. All right. Number 6. Together, Aiden and his two sisters save 720 quarters. They divide the quarters equally. Now this is where it gets tricky. It says Aiden and his two sisters. That means there's one plus two. There's three of them. Then down here it says Aiden puts his quarters into three equal piles. How many quarters does Aiden put in each pile? So we have to do 720 divided by three. Well, I know that three will go into seven two times because... 3 times 2 is 6, but I'm going to add a couple more zeros to make it 3 digits. 
So 3 times 2 is 6, and then bring my zeros down, and that leaves 0, 2, and 1. Okay, move my 120 up here. I know that 3 times 4 is 12, but there's an extra digit, so I'm going to put a 0. So 3 times 4 is 12, add my 0, subtract, and there's nothing left. So 200 plus 40 equals 240. So that means there is 240 quarters in each pile. Page 310. James, Micah, and Rebecca work at a restaurant. There is $115 in the tip jar. They decide to divide the tips equally among them and leave the extra money in the jar. How much money do they leave in the jar? Ooh, that's tricky. Because it doesn't ask how much money they each get. It asks how much they leave in the jar. Well, there's three of them. One, two, three. So that means I'm going to do 115 divided by three. Three cannot go into one but it can go into 11. 3 times 3 is 9. If I add a 0, it makes 90, which is still smaller than 115. So 5 minus 0 is 5. 11 minus 9 is 2. So then I'm going to bring my 25 up here. 3 times what is as close to getting to 25 without going over? Well, it's 8. 3 times 8 is 24. That leaves a remainder of a dollar. So they each get $38, and there's $1 left over, and that $1 is what goes back in the tip jar. So it's A, $1. Miss Long makes seven snack bags. She uses 175 almonds and shares them evenly among the bags. How many almonds are in each bag? How many almonds are left over? Show your work. Okay, let's go ahead and make our area model. 175 divided by 7. Well, 7 can't go into 1, but 7 can go into 14. 7 times 2 is 14. I'm going to add a 0 onto both of those. Subtract. That means 5, 35 left over. Carry that up here. 7 times 5 is 35. So that means that there's 25 almonds in each bag, and there's no almonds left over. Number 9, our last one. Look at the expression 228 divided by 6. What two multiples of 10 is the quotient between? Ooh, multiples of 10. Well, it's between what's our biggest number up and our biggest number down. So our biggest number up would be 230 because you can multiply that by 10. And our biggest number down would be 220 because you have to round to the tens place. And that's it for today. I will see you back for lesson 15.